Welcome to the Learn Sales for CPQ. In this video, we are going to explore about how to set up the advanced approvals for the custom object. Inside the Salesforce documentation, all the information have been provided to set up the approvals for the code object of the CPQ package. So we are going to take the similar setup with minor modifications in the code and that will help us to set up the advanced approvals on the custom object. So here I have one custom object called promotion and my plan is to set up the advanced approvals on it. So in order to set up the advanced approval, the very first thing that we need to do is to create the lookup object on the approval. So let's go to the setup and open the approval object. Go to the fields and relationship okay now let me create a new field here lookup relationship click on new and select my custom object okay so every custom object that you are planning to set up the add-ons approval you will need to create a lookup object on on into the approvals object okay now we have to create approval status pick list in in promotion object that is my custom object so click on new pick list you can create a global pick list if you have planned to set up the advanced sub roles for multiple object but for time being i'm going to enter the values here okay always make sure there is no space in between approval and status for the api name all right next step is to create the date field submitted date and the last field is submitted user so that is lookup field Alright, so we are done with all field creation part. Now we need to set up the two Apex classes. One is like the controller and the other one is like the test class for the same. So we are going to copy all the code as it is. And basically the plan is to replace the code references from here and replace with our promotion objects field reference here so here I'm on the create new apex class window let me post the code as it is and make some changes all right so I just have changed the name of the class and also replace the constructor name as well okay uh, we'll also need to replace the 
label of the fields but for time being i'll keep as it is so all right now i need to replace the code reference from here and replace with the promotion object all right we're done with that now Now let me copy the another test class. Again, I'm going to make some changes into the class name. Okay. Now in this existing code, there are like multiple references of the code object that eventually we need to replace with the promotion object. Okay, now since we have added our own ext controller, promotion ext controller, I'm going to refer that now. The same changes for another method test recall Okay, what I'm missing? Okay, here I need to replace the promotion. Alright, so we're done with the Apex class changes. Pretty straightforward. You just have to copy the existing code from the Salesforce help site and then uh, <clears throat> replace the code objects references with your custom object references. That's it. Alright, so we are pretty much done with the fields creations and the code creation. Now let's create the buttons. Okay. So first of all, we need to create the um, Visual Force pages now. So let me go to the Visual Force pages first. Create the new. So submit code. I'm going to copy the code as it is. All right. But now our standard controller is different. Let 
it's no promotion and also there is a change in the name so we have referred as a promotion ext controller click save it's saved now we need to create a one more we have page called recall code copy the code again make the same changes here also hit the kick save all right it's saved now okay now we need to create a three buttons so first of all we need to create a submit for approval so let's get back to the promotion object and uh, create the buttons so now okay promotion okay buttons new button display an existing window visual force page submit for code click save now go ahead and click on new button that is recall approval that is again like we have at button basically recall code hit the save okay and now the last button preview approvals now we're going to keep the content source as url and simply copy paste and here we have to change the reference of our object all right so this is pretty straightforward uh, we just have to make some uh, little bit tweaks into the uh, the code that has been already provided by salesforce and one change into this link to preview approval that's it so this is how you set up the add-ons approval on top of like custom objects that you have already in your org or if you have planned to create a new custom object thank you